We have learned that protons are like little magnets. We have learned that protons are like little magnets. In an external magnetic field, they align parallel or anti-parallel. The lower energy state, parallel, is preferred. So a few more protons align this way. The protons perform a motion that resembles the wobbling of a spinning top. This motion is called precession. The precession frequency is dependent on the strength of the external magnetic field, a relationship which is described by the Larmor equation. The stronger the magnetic field, the higher the precession frequency. Protons, pointing in opposite directions, cancel each other's magnetic effects in the respective directions. As there are more protons aligned parallel to the external field, there is a net magnetic moment aligned with or longitudinal to the external magnetic field. A radio frequency pulse that has the same frequency as the processing protons can cause resonance, transfer energy to the protons. This results in more protons being anti-parallel and thus neutralizing or cancelling more protons in the opposite direction. Consequence? The longitudinal magnetization decreases. The RF pulse also causes the protons to precess in sync, in phase. This results in a new magnetic vector, the transversal magnetization, which moves around with the precessing protons. When the RF pulse is switched off, transversal magnetization decreases and disappears, while longitudinal magnetization increases again. This longitudinal relaxation is described by a time constant, T1, the longitudinal relaxation time. The transversal relaxation is described by a time constant, T2, the transversal relaxation time. Longitudinal and transversal relaxation are different, independent processes. And that's why we discuss them individually. That's what you should know by now.